What is up you guys? My name is Elias and I love movies. So a few weeks ago Eli Roth decided to finally release his student short film. This is a like 10 minute short film that he shot while he was in film school and the reason it's been hidden this whole entire time I honestly have no idea because as awkward as it may be it was actually pretty good. Okay, so rumor has it that whenever he did shoot this short film in college, he almost didn't graduate. I guess a lot of the students liked it, but according to him, a lot of the professors didn't like it at all. And I can actually see why. I will say that it's nothing like his horror films, but it's still hilarious. I know his career is focused a lot on horror films, but let's be honest here, a lot of his movies, if not all of his movies, have pretty hilarious moments. I think that's one of the things that make all of his films very special because aside from all of the awesome gore that horror fans enjoy, he also throws a lot of comedy in there that most people enjoy. And this short film is just filled with lots of random comedy. This short film is called Restaurant Dogs and the intro is pretty much like a ripoff of Reservoir Dogs, which we can all agree that Eli Roth is in fact a Tarantino fan. The short film focuses on a young man who is on a quest. He has a mission that he needs to fulfill simply because he wants a milkshake. I can only assume that a lot of you are already extremely confused. But like I said, this short film is like literally all over the place, but it sort of comes together perfectly. There's this young guy who is eating at Burger King and he desperately wants a milkshake, so he goes up to the counter to order one. The manager tells him that there aren't any milkshakes, so he can't have any, and then he gets really pissed off and tells him that he would like to speak to the king of Burger King. The manager gets really angry and grabs him and literally like drags him to the back of the building where the king of Burger King is. The king proceeds to tell him that the reason there is no milkshake was because his daughter, the dairy princess, has been kidnapped by Ronald McDonald and his gang. So the young guy, because he wants milkshake, tells the king that he will go rescue his daughter and return Derry to the kingdom. I know a lot of this isn't making any sense, but trust me, it's definitely something that everyone should watch. I can only assume that if you are a Eli Roth fan, then you probably already knew about this and you've probably already watched it. If you guys are similar with Eli Roth films, you guys know that his films are filled with lots and lots of gore. And this short film, as awkward as it may be, filled with a lot of characters from fast food restaurants, is actually filled with a lot of gore. You have like Mayor McCheese getting his head chopped off. You also have other characters from McDonald's like getting stabbed with giant crayons or like getting their eyes gouged with giant chopsticks. And the purpose for all of this is to rescue the princess, to rescue the daughter of the king of Burger King. I mean, if you really stop and think about it, it's sort of like a political rescue story because you have all of these characters from McDonald's who are pretty much trying to take over the world. And then you have the Burger King himself trying to get his daughter back so that he can return milkshakes and every other dairy product to the kingdom. It is literally hilarious and it's actually pretty well done. If you guys are fans of Eli Roth's films, I highly recommend you watch this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell you that it is an amazing short film because it's kind of bad. But even though it's bad, it's extremely enjoyable and I loved it. The thing that I love about this short film is the fact that I know that the creator of this short film, which isn't that great, is now making the films that he has always wanted to make. He is living his dream and doing what he's always wanted to do. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's called Restaurant Dogs. The intro is sort of a ripoff from Reservoir Dogs. There's also another ripoff moment that he took from a war movie. But yeah, like I said, it's awkward, but it's extremely enjoyable. I love it. I was laughing my ass off 
throughout the whole entire thing. I've actually seen it several times. It's definitely not for everyone, but I still think that everyone should watch it at least once. Like I said, I was laughing through the whole entire thing, but there were like so many moments where I would stop and think, what the hell is happening? <laughs> But that's it you guys just wanted to share my quick thoughts with you guys if you guys have seen restaurant dogs what did you guys think do you believe that eli roth has pretty much come an extremely long way since that short film do you guys think that his professors were just giving him a hard time saying that it sucks or do you actually believe that it sucks because i think it's pretty great as always thank you guys very much for watching like the video if you like subscribe if you want to watch more videos and i will see you guys next time bye Thank you for watching Gary Movie House. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Peace out, homies.